Okay, so let me pick the routing table. So we are doing an exercise with uh, TCAM. We can start with uh, this routing table. Oops. And uh, I would like to add also another uh, uh, item to make uh, things a little bit more interesting. So we can add the P7, which is uh, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. Then I am also uh, including an, another um, column of the table. So we have the next stop indication and uh, uh, another column. In this column, I am going to write uh, the output interface, which is usually the physical output interface, which is usually named uh, ETH. So here we have the prefix, here we have the next stop indication, okay. And let's say that uh, now I, I will use uh, letters. So the first one is A, second is uh, B, B, D, A, C and C, okay. So this means that uh, when you have uh, the prefix, uh, when the longest prefix matching is, for instance, the third one, the packet must be forwarded to uh, the router with uh, interface P3, stands for an IP address or the next stop interface, going out through the physical interface number B of the current uh, router. So we want now to build uh, uh, the TCAM corresponding to this uh, <coughs> set of uh, addresses. As you know, we need uh, the values and the mask. <coughs> and uh, so I can start uh, uh, creating a box. Let's see more or less like this. And uh, as you know, we have to decide what is uh, the size we want to use for the, all the entries of the TICA, the number of bits, okay? Because we, we need to uh, use a, 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 an, equally, uh, an equal length for all the entries of the TICA. And uh, since here the maximum number of, the maximum length of prefix is uh, four, for instance, we can use uh, five bits. You can decide to use uh, from four bit to on. Okay, so let's say that we want to use uh, five bits. Now we have to translate uh, <coughs> to convert the values. Here we have the values, and this is the mask. This operation is very simple. I hope I just hope to do it uh, in a graphically correct way. So the first value is uh, <coughs> zero. Uh, 
net mask is uh, five zero as well. <coughs> then we have uh, one zero, and here we need uh, one one. Then we have uh, one zero one. <coughs> Here we need one 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 zero 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 one zero this is the same length <coughs> and uh, then we have these uh, four that are of length four so zero 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 one Okay, <clears throat> so once uh, we are, have completed uh, this part, we should write in another place uh, a RAM so in, in a random memory access, <coughs> all the entries that correspond to the next stop information. So we will have to write uh, P1, P2, and so on and so forth. Okay. <clears throat> As usual, we can uh, do some uh, testing. So let's say that we want to test uh, a first entry, which is 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, and something else. <clears throat> a second one in green. 0, 1, 0, 0, and something else, and then uh, 1 in blue, 1, 1, 0, 0, something else, and the final in uh, orange, 1, 0, 0, 1, and so on. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, so we can start with uh, the first uh, entry, uh, 1100 and so on, and uh, we find uh, a positive matching, uh, so it's the red one, okay. So we, can, we find a positive matching uh, here. Here and uh, where else? No, and of course in the here in the default routing. Okay, we can assume that uh, all these uh, entries are also in the order of priority. Okay, no, it's the other way. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Ah, sorry, uh, we don't need any priority because we are not doing packet classification. So they just the uh, <coughs> longest prefix matching. So what is the, the result in this case? The result would be this one, okay? <coughs> So we have to go to the, using the, this entry, we have to go to the uh, RAM and uh, we will find P3. And now here we have, uh, let's say that the RAM is already this, can be this column, it is there. Then uh, we have uh, the green case. Uh, 0, 1, uh, 0, 0, we find uh, for sure matching here, which is the default uh, routing. Then we have uh, <coughs> 0, 1, 0, so we are matching here. 
and uh, no more, nothing more. And so the result is uh, this one before. Okay. Blue, 1100, again matching here in the default routing. And uh, 1100, uh, we are matching. We are not matching here this entry because it's 1101 and we have to take four bits into account. Uh, we are not matching here and we are not matching here as well. So the result would be P1. Okay. Orange. One zero zero one. As usual, we have uh, <coughs> matching there, and then uh, you have uh, uh, one zero zero one. So <coughs> it's not matching any entry with uh, four bits. It is only matching this entry here, uh, where you have uh, two bits, one zero. Okay, so the result would be uh, P2. Okay. <clears throat> um, so lookup is uh, really trivial, it's nothing to, <clears throat> to say. Now we could uh, improve uh, this uh, uh, TCAM by introducing the so-called prefix pruning and max extension that allows us to reduce the number of uh, items we have, so the number of entries that we have in the TCAM. Uh, so in this case, we need to look at uh, the indication that is uh, related to the output interface. And we can apply these tricks only with entries that, has, that have the same output interface. And in case of prefix pruning, we, have, we can look at uh, entries <coughs> that are of uh, uh, different length. Um, but, uh, sorry, of, on this, on, uh, of the same length. Uh, of different length, but uh, one is uh, uh, in, uh, included in the, in the other. And uh, for instance, uh, you, we can uh, look at uh, uh, the entry related to P5. <coughs> you can notice that the entry related to P5 is, uh, has uh, A as uh, uh, output uh, um, interface which is exactly the same as the output interface for the long uh, default router. So we, we could uh, uh, eliminate this entry here because it is already contained in the default router. Okay. And both they are going to the same output interface. And then uh, we can also do the same with uh, this entry here, the second and the third. The third entry is an extension of the second, because uh, in the second you have one zero, and in the third you have one zero one. So also in this case we can reduce them to just uh, one entry, because both they are going to the same output interface. Okay. This is called uh, uh, prefix pruning. And then uh, the second trick uh, is uh, mask extension. So 
So in this case, what we are extending is uh, the usage of the mass. We can have to look at uh, entries with the same prefix length, but that uh, they are different for just a few bits. And, uh, of course, they also share the common output uh, interface. And this is the case of uh, the, last, the last two entries. You can see that they are both 4-bit uh, long, and one is 1101, and the second one is 1111. So we can uh, condense them uh, in, a single, in a single entry. So the resulting uh, uh, table, I draw it in here, is the following. So now we can write uh, zero, zero, five zeros, no, five. And uh, this is uh, for uh, uh, P1 and P5. The output interface was A. Okay. Then we have uh, uh, the second one. When we are doing prefix pruning, uh, we have to always to, to keep uh, the most general of the entries. So here it was uh, of length two. Interface was B and it accounts for P2 and P3. And then we have uh, P4, which remains. And finally, we have uh, this one, which will become uh, 11010. The third bit is uh, uh, not relevant anymore. And then the mask will be 1. One zero one zero. Output interface C accounts for P6 and P7. So now you notice that we have a hole in the mask corresponding to the third bit. Okay, because the third bit becomes uh, not relevant if you want to sum up the two entries. down okay so this is uh, basically the end of all this part okay I will uh, print out uh, uh, the PDFs of these uh, um, of these exercises, so you uh, we'll put it, uh, upload it on the in bit. Okay, so let's quickly go to packet classification. And uh, packet classification, actually, there is not so much we can do because things get uh, very much, uh, say, com complex uh, when you are increasing the, the use cases. Uh, we can just uh, look at uh, hierarchical tree. Uh, and actually, there is uh, not so much time, but let me just uh, draw a template.
we are using two fields seven rules both the fields are in the form of uh, prefixes And uh, uh, the, the priority is, uh, this time is uh, needed, we have to specify it. And the, all the rules are sorted in uh, priority order. So R1 is the highest priority, R7 is the lowest priority. Okay. <coughs> Maybe you can start uh, building uh, the hierarchical type by yourself at home for the next uh, time. So next time, uh, which is uh, next uh, Wednesday, actually, uh, I will uh, quickly go through these exercises and then we can start the final part, which is uh, about uh, buffers, okay? packet switching. So that would be the next uh, uh, Wednesday and uh, then we will have another lesson on Friday and uh, then the other week you will have another session about uh, projects okay, with uh, Sebastian. That's the problem. Okay, thank you. <coughs>